Hello and welcome to the first ever virtual white coat ceremony at our Boston University Henry M. Goldman School of Dental Medicine. I am Dr. Joseph Kalowitz, Associate Dean of Students. I'm recording this segment from our brand new classroom at 635 Albany Street on the first floor of our world-class, state-of-the-art expansion and renovation. I am honored to welcome family, friends, staff, faculty, administration, and of course our students from the Doctor of Dental Medicine class of 2022 and the Doctor of Dental Medicine Advanced Standing class of 2021 to today's white coat ceremony. This moment is frequently referred to by that great New Jersey lyricist, John Bon Jovi. Oh, we're halfway there. Or as we like to say at the Henry M. Goldman School of Dental Medicine, halfway to DMD. With all that is going on here and around the globe, we appreciate everyone taking the time to fit us into their schedules. No one anticipated that in the middle of your journey through dental school, the world would be turned upside down. Today's ceremony will look a little different than it has in years past, but as we have done many times before, we will mark this very special milestone for our students and recognize the dedication and hard work that has allowed them to conquer the preclinical gauntlet and find themselves on the other side of Albany Street at the threshold of our treatment centers. One day, I hope we will look back on 2020 and reflect on how these events cause us to pause and rethink what we do, what we say, and how we act moving forward as a school, a university, a community, and most importantly, as healthcare providers. I believe the world we live in will change and we will learn from our past to become a more kind and thoughtful society. It is now my honor and privilege to turn the program over to our Dean, Dr. Jeffrey W. Hutter. Dean Hutter. Thank you, Dr. Calabrese. As Dr. Calabrese shared with you, I am Dr. Jeffrey W. Hutter, and I have the privilege and honor of serving as the Dean of the Boston University Henry M. Goldman School of Dental Medicine. This is certainly a different format than we have ever before used for our white coat ceremony. But the format does not lessen in any way the extremely warm welcome that I would like to extend to all of the members of the Doctor of Dental Medicine Advanced Standing Class of 2021 and the Doctor of Dental Medicine Class of 2022, as well as any family members, friends, and guests who are tuning in today. We are gathering virtually today to celebrate the induction of these classes into the clinical portion of their dental education and into our predoctoral patient treatment centers. This is an important and momentous milestone in your dental education, and I know that this is not the way you anticipated donning your white coat for the first time. But please know that I speak for our entire community when I say that nothing can lessen the pride that I have, have in your accomplishments so far or the excitement that I feel for each of you as you embark on the next phase of your dental education. Turning my attention to the families and friends we have joining us today. I believe I had the pleasure of meeting some of you during the respective professional ceremonies held during the orientation programs for these classes held in 2018 and 2019 respectively. While I wish we could be coming together in person today to celebrate another milestone for our students, I am so pleased we could be together via the power of technology and look forward to seeing you in person at future events. And before I go further, I do want to give special recognition to Dr. Joseph Calabrese, Clinical Professor of General Dentistry and Associate Dean of Students. Dr. Daniel K. Clementson, President-Elect of the American Dental Association and our keynote speaker for today's White Coat Ceremony. Dr. Cal Cataldo Leone, Professor of Periodontology and Professor of Molecular and Cell Biology and Associate Dean for Academic Affairs. Dr. Janice Moriarty, Immediate Past President of the Massachusetts Dental Society. Thank you for participating in this very special event. In years past, we had a different, less formal white coat ceremony, and sadly along the way, the tradition was dropped. The students, however, from the Doctor of Dental Medicine class of 2013 and the Doctor of Dental Medicine Advanced Standing class of 2012 came to me in 2010 and expressed a, a sincere interest in not only reinstating the ceremony, but reimagining it. 
They wanted to invite and include their families and friends in this most important rite of passage. And I cannot tell you how much it means to me that the students who have joined us today from the Doctor of Dental Medicine class of 2022 and the Doctor of Dental Medicine Advanced Standing class of 2021 were so supportive of our continuing this new tradition and that so many of their families and friends are here with us virtually for this important occasion. That our students elected to mark this transition in such a formal and solemn manner with their families and friends tuning in tells my faculty, staff, and me that they are indeed ready for the new challenges ahead. Family truly is the most important part of our lives and that your child, spouse, grandchild, mother or father, aunt or uncle, niece or nephew, and friend wanted you to view today's ceremony speaks volumes to me about our students and the core values that you as parents, siblings, relatives, children, and friends have instilled in them. These very special individuals, our students, have now spent two of their four years in the Doctor of Dental Medicine program or one of their two years in the Doctor of Dental Medicine Advanced Standing program at the Boston University Henry M. Goldman School of Dental Medicine. In that time, they have completed countless hours of study in the classroom, the laboratory, both clinical and research, the library, the preclinical simulation learning center, and on the internet. Although they have had the opportunity of treating patients since they began their dental education, they are about to begin the very important phase of their education in which they manage their own patients and provide comprehensive oral care to them. This transition will be especially rewarding for these students as they provide patient-centered oral health care in their respective group practices to which they were assigned during their respective incoming student orientations in 2018 and 2019. Commencing just six years ago on July the 7th, 2014, the group practice model for providing clinical education to our students and oral health care to the patients we are privileged to treat signaled the beginning of a new era at the Henry M. Goldman School of Dental Medicine. And if this past year is any indication, even in the midst of the COVID-19 pandemic, the group practice model has again proven to be a huge success and all the outcome measures we determined would be used as indicators in evaluating the model. In addition, these students will continue the implementation of and incorporation of digital dentistry into the curriculum and the oral health care we now can provide our patients on a routine basis. And as I now direct my remarks to our wonderful students, during the past year as you participated in Dr. Lewis Brown's preclinical course in prosthodontics, you were the six classes to be truly introduced to digital dentistry as you learned CIRAC computer-aided design and computer-aided manufacture, better known as CAD-CAM technology for the restoration of teeth and implants. And work with the CIRAC software prep check that allowed you to assess your own dental skills and modify the same work in order to bring excellence to your clinical skills in preparation for moving from the simulation learning center to the patient treatment centers. In addition, your respective classes were the fourth to participate in the newly established pre-doctoral pre-clinical course in implantology. Created, organized, and directed by Dr. Neil Fleischer, clinical professor in general dentistry and director of the pre-doctoral program in periodontics, and Dr. Hashem Noah, clinical associate professor in general dentistry, associate chair, Department of General Dentistry, and director of the pre-doctoral program in prosthodontics. This amazing course has now set the standard for other dental schools to emulate as they attempt to replicate it in their respective curriculum. Utilizing small group instruction and hands-on training, the course has prepared you in reading and manipulating a cone beam computed tomography, better known as a CBCT scan. The merging of CIRAC with CBCT for implant planning, the designing of a surgical guide, and the surgical placement of an implant on a model specifically designed for the course. No students in the history of the school have been better prepared than you upon entering the patient treatment center to treatment plan, design, and subsequently place a surgically guided implant on their patients. Both the group practice model and digital dentistry have been transformative for our school, and we can never have accomplished either without the support and guidance of our past, present, and future students. You will be providing your patients with CAD-CAM, CIRAC dental restorations, enhancing your ability to perform endodontic treatment utilizing 3D images of the root canal system 
and incorporating 3D imaging and cone beam computed tomography into the design of and subsequent placement of surgically guided implants. During the 2017 white coat ceremony, I recognized a member of the Doctor of Dental Medicine class of 2017 as the first pre-doctoral student at the Henry M. Goldman School of Dental Medicine and from very reliable sources, the first student at any dental school within the United States to design and subsequently place a surgically guided implant under the under outstanding mentorship and expertise of general dentistry and oral and maxillofacial surgery faculty. I am very pleased to share with you that since January the 1st, 2017, 843 implants have been placed for our pre-doctoral students, most of whom were in the Doctor of Dental Medicine and Doctor of Dental Medicine Advanced Standing class of 2019 using guided surgery. As to the impact that de digital dentistry has had on restorative dentistry at the Henry M. Goldman School of Dental Medicine, 4,188 CAD-CAM CIRAC restorations have been placed by pre-doctoral students from January the 1st, 2014 to December the 31st of 2019. 231 in 2014, 465 in 2015, 591 in 2016, 912 in 2017, 966 in 2018 and 1023 in 2019. And to truly put this into perspective, the number of CIRAC restorations placed by pre-doctoral students in 2012 was just 157. In addition to the number of implants that have been restored by pre-doctoral students from 2014 to the present has been 866, 35 in 200, 2014, 113 in 2015, 122 in 2016, 212 in 2017, 195 in 2018, and 189 in 2019. As you now enter the pre-doctoral patient treatment center, we predict you will respectively double and possibly triple the number of CRAC CAD-CAM restorations placed and surgically guided implants placed and restored. We have also now incorporated digital technology into removable prosthodontics. Since January of 2017, we have delivered over 1,000 3D printed removable partial dentures. And since January of 2018, we have delivered 615 digitally processed complete dentures. You should take great pride in attending the first dental school in the United States to have incorporated digital dentistry into its curriculum pre-clinical education and clinical practice in a group practice model. And even more importantly, a dental school that will never just rest on its laurels as we continue to expand upon our implementation of new modes of digital dentistry, 3D printing, and of course, most recently, robotics. Yes, we have acquired during the past year two Yomi robots from Neosys that are FDA approved for robot assisted dental surgery. They are the first and only robotic guidance system that employs haptic guidance and multi-sensory feedback as well as X-Guide and navigation assisted surgery units from Noble BioCare, both for dental implant surgery. Since the implementation of Yomi in the patient treatment center and prior to the pandemic, we had successfully completed 50 dental implants in 40 cases with a success rate of 90% that succeeded Neosys's expected benchmark and compared to a private office benchmark. With XGUIDE, we had completed eight cases since February 2020, as its implementation came much later on compared to Yomi. John Shin from the DMD class of 2020 placed the first ever robotically assisted implant in pre-doctoral education. Ernesto Ulo Jimenez, DMD advanced standing class of 2020 placed the first ever navigation assisted implant in pre-doctoral education. Truly next generation technology that you can utilize now at the Henry M. Goldman School of Dental Medicine. It is now my great honor to introduce today's keynote speaker, Dr. Daniel J. Clementson, President-Elect of the American Dental Association. 
Elected to the position of president-elect during the September 2019 American Dental Association and Federation Dentaire International World Dental Congress held in San Francisco, California, Dr. Clementson will be installed as president of the American Dental Association in October 2020 during the 2020 American Dental Association and Florida Dental Association combined meeting being held remotely due to COVID-19. And in so doing, he will lead the 160,000 member organization that is America's leading advocate for oral health. The American Dental Association is the world's largest and oldest national dental association and is dedicated to promoting, promoting high professional standards and scientific research. Thus, it is truly a privilege to have Dr. Clementson join us virtually today. Dr. Clementson is known throughout the country as a talented oral surgeon and a visionary leader. He has played a leadership role in dental societies at every level in this country, serving as the president of the Arizona Dental Association, the Southern Arizona Dental Society, the Western Society of Oral and Maxillofacial Surgeons, and the Arizona Society of Oral and Maxillofacial Surgeons, and now the president-elect of the American Dental Association, in addition to taking on many other leadership roles within those organizations and others. Over the course of his career, Dr. Clementson has earned a number of awards in recognition of his contributions to his profession, including the Dentist of the Year Award and the Hall of Fame Service Award from the Arizona Dental Association. In 2018, he received the Gerald E. Hansen Outstanding Service Award from the Oral and Maxillofacial Surgery Foundation. He is a fellow in the American College of Dentists, the International College of Dentists, and the Pierre Fauchard Academy. Dr. Clementson received his Doctor of Dental Science from the University of Southern California School of Dentistry and his Doctor of Medicine from the University of Southern California School of Medicine. He completed his oral and maxillofacial surgery residency at Los Angeles County USC Medical Center in Los Angeles, California and he maintains a private practice in Tucson, Arizona, and is also an attending oral and maxillofacial surgeon on the cleft palate craniofacial team at the Children's Clinics for Rehabilitative Services. Please join me in providing a rousing Boston University Henry M. Goldman School of Dental Medicine welcome to our distinguished speaker and your American Dental Association, President-elect Dr. Daniel Clemenson. Dr. Clemenson. Doctors. It sounds good, doesn't it? Just take a moment and let it sink in. Wear it responsibly. Your patients and the public will expect more from you because of it. It is my honor to address you today. Dean Hutter, thank you for giving me the opportunity. COVID-19 prevents my presence, but in no way dampens my enthusiasm for your future. I address you as doctors today because of a memorable experience in my first year as a dental student. It was not a white coat ceremony. Those ceremonies developed by the Gold Foundation to instill an emphasis on humanism in healthcare began in 1993 at the Columbia University School of Medicine. I attended the University of Southern California School of Dentistry beginning in 1976. Although not formal, early lectures often allowed for philosophical introduction to obligations we acquire when we commit to become a dentist. The professor I remember most was Dr. Clifton O. Dummett. The subject of the lecture, he taught history of dentistry and community dentistry, was not nearly as important as the powerful messages he delivered. He addressed us as doctors so that we would learn and act like doctors. He spoke with reverence about our place in healthcare, our patients' lives, and the greater community. Dr. Dummett set the stage for our future. After 40 years, I understand what he was speaking about. So what can I pass along to you? One, learn about professionalism and the social contract dentists as healthcare professionals assume and must honor. Respect, trust, a myriad of professional opportunities 
and the ability to self-regulate is given to us by the public we serve. Those privileges depend on a real and implicit contract to care for the oral health care needs of all people. That contract can be taken away if we do not fulfill our social responsibility. Two, experience everything you can in dental school. There will never be a better time to discover all the opportunities that exist in dentistry. Knowledge and competency and a broad scope of clinical experiences should be your goal. Dentistry is the ideal dental home where education, prevention, and clinical care for patients over time defines primary care. Number three, embrace change, engage the wider community, and make a difference. Dependence on the status quo will not make us better clinicians or address unsolved patterns of disease prevalence, prevention, management, or access to care. Science, technology, and AI will all change how you practice. So will the actions of government entities, advocacy groups, and of course, social change. Your voice and the voice of organized dentistry, like the American Dental Association and the American Student Dental Association, protect your professional interests. Please get involved early. Four, get to know your educators. Their knowledge, skill, experience, and perspectives on dentistry is a resource that should not be wasted. I failed to recognize the many contributions of Dr. Dumma while a student. I discovered them while researching issues confronting the ADA and our profession. He was the Dean of the Meharry School of Dentistry at age 28, worked in the VA, served in the Air Force for 24 years, published numerous books and articles, and eventually retired as an emeritus professor. His work with the National Dental Association as editor-in-chief was critical, particularly when considered in the context of today's social turmoil. In 1957, he penned the resolution from the NDA to the ADA that led to binding resolutions urging constituent and component societies to eliminate racially restricted membership provisions. Today, we continue to struggle with health care disparities related to societal inequities. I ask you, are you ready to be a part of future solutions? Doctors, congratulations on beginning a journey you will never regret. I am certain you will achieve the success you seek and I challenge you to keep the social contract our profession has worked so hard to earn. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Dr. Clemenson, for your inspiring address. All you do for our profession as president-elect of the American Dental Association and taking the time from your very busy schedule to participate in this momentous occasion. We also wish you the best of success as president of the American Dental Association. And please always know that the Boston University Henry M. Goldman School of Dental Medicine has your back. And please do not hesitate to contact us if we can be of any assistance to you. I know our profession is in the best hands with individuals such as yourself at the helm. It is now time for our students to be recognized as they don and wear, in some cases, model their Henry M. Goldman School of Dental Medicine professional white coats, which will then be followed by the recitation of their professional oath. The same oath the students took as part of the professional ceremony held during their respective orientations in 2018 and 2019 when they first entered the Henry M. Goldman School of Dental Medicine to study their chosen profession of dentistry. Dr. Leone, will you please do the honor of presenting the Doctor of Dental Medicine Class of 2022 and the Doctor of Dental Medicine Advanced Standing Class of 2021.
Thank you, Dean Heller, and thank you also to Dr. Clemenson for joining in the celebration. Good afternoon, everyone. It is truly a pleasure to recognize these two classes for achieving this significant milestone in their academic careers. To all the relatives and friends here with us today, I also bid you welcome and thanks. To our students, you have reached the halfway point in your education program. Can you believe it? For some of you, it may have seemed like the blink of an eye, and for others, it may have seemed like an eternity. And yet, here you all are. Congratulations to each one of you. To our guests here with us today, it was not so long ago that these students joined our community, and already they have enriched us tremendously by their presence. These classes consist of highly dedicated, intelligent, and talented individuals who have worked very hard at Devil's School. We are proud of all of their accomplishments thus far, both professional and personal. And we are confident they will demonstrate continued diligence during the second half of their program. To Dean Hutter, faculty, staff, and all our guests, these students have earned the rights and responsibilities to be honored here today. As the academic dean, it is my happy duty to present to you the two-year DMD Advanced Standing Class of 2021 and the four-year DMD Class of 2022 to be formally recognized by virtual presentation of the professional white coat. Doctors, congratulations again and best wishes to you. Thank you, Dr. Leone. Both the donning of the professional white coat and recitation of the professional oath will symbolize our students' entry into the Boston University Henry M. Goldman School of Dental Medicine Patient Treatment Centers.
Members of the Doctor of Dental Medicine class of 2022 and Doctor of Dental Medicine Advanced Standing class of 2021, please join me as we recite the professional oath. Now, having earned the privilege of treating patients in the Patient Treatment Center, I pledge myself to the service of humanity, my patients, my community, and my profession. I pledge myself to the service of humanity, my patients, my community, and my profession. I will use my skills to serve all in need with openness of spirit and without bias. I will use my skills to serve all in need with openness of spirit and without bias. Health and well-being of my patients will be my first consideration. I will hold in confidence all that my patients entrust to me. I will hold in confidence all that my patients entrust to me. I will not subordinate the dignity of any person to monetary, scientific, or political ends. I will not subordinate the dignity of any person to monetary, scientific, or political ends. I recognize that I have responsibilities to my community to promote its welfare and to speak out against injustice. I regard of my profession as born of society's trust in its practitioners. I will strive to merit that trust. I will conduct myself with the highest ethical and professional behavior in the classroom, the clinic, and in all areas of my life. I will promote the integrity of the profession with honest and respectful relations with other health professionals. I will strive to advance my profession by seeking new knowledge and by re-examining the ideas and practices of the past. I will strive to advance my profession by seeking new knowledge and by re-examining the ideas and practices of the past. I assume these responsibilities knowing that their fulfillment relies on my own good health. I assume these responsibilities knowing that their fulfillment relies on my own good health. I ask that my colleagues be attentive to my well-being as I will be to theirs. I will seek to improve my practice by maintaining my skills and addressing my mistakes. I will seek to improve my practice by maintaining my skills and addressing my mistakes. I take this oath freely and upon my honor. I take this oath freely and upon my honor. It is now my pleasure to introduce Dr. Janice Moriarty, immediate press president of the Massachusetts Dental Society, to provide congratulatory remarks to the members of the Doctor of Dental Medicine class of 2022 and Doctor of Dental Medicine Advanced Standing class of 2021 for all of their accomplishments and reaching this very significant milestone in their dental education. Good afternoon, students, faculty, family, and friends. My name is Dr. Janice Moriarty, and I'm recording this message to you on my last day as president of the Massachusetts Dental Society. I bring you greetings from our board of trustees, officers, and staff. It's touching that Dean Hutter invited me to make comments to you today, as one of the highlights of the start of my term last year was having the pleasure of not only attending the 2019 White Coat Ceremony in person, of course, but having the honor of being on the stage and shaking the hands of all 197 students receiving their white coats. This is a monumentous occasion for you as you enter the midpoint of your dental education and begin seeing patients transitioning from preclinical to clinical treatment. All of this between this and your next momentous occasion, commencement in less than two years, is a whole lot of clinical dentistry and patient appointments. You won't believe how quickly that time will go. Having just gone through the disruption of the COVID pandemic, something none of us will soon forget, 
I'd like to offer my congratulations to your faculty for their efforts in pivoting to deliver remote educational content to you while the state of Massachusetts was shut down. It was not easy to be a dentist during COVID, nor I presume was it an easy time to be a dental student. We have all learned valuable lessons from this pandemic, and I hope they will stick with you throughout your careers. Prepare for the unexpected. Have systems in place. Plan. Save. Buy the things you need the most in bulk. Build relationships with business colleagues, such as bankers and dental suppliers, because these will become very necessary in times of crisis. And check in with your patients and staff frequently if ever you find yourself under a stay-at-home order. There is no curbside pickup in dentistry and the stronger your relationships with your patients before a crisis, the more willing they will be to stick with you after one. Another lesson learned from the pandemic is our ability to be flexible and think outside the box. We would never have thought at last year's wonderful white coat ceremony that just one year later, we would be producing it virtually. But to coin the phrase, the silver lining in this is that you got to express your creativity in recording your own individual white coat ceremonies and be coded by a special someone of your choosing. Nicely done, by the way. As you transition into patient care this year, you'll be donning and doffing much more than the ceremonial white coat. You will be garbed in more sophisticated PPE than ever before. Take seriously the responsibility of keeping yourself and your patients safe. Respect your patients. Revere and treasure your faculty. Be a good colleague and classmate. Be a lifelong learner. Be serious, but have fun too. You are embarking on a profession that will bring you much joy. The great thing about dentistry is that each appointment brings us an opportunity to change a life. My wish to you is that you continue to approach every patient encounter throughout your careers with the same excitement and enthusiasm as you will your first patients while in school. Best wishes on having a long, happy and healthy career. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Moriarty, for your very kind and thoughtful remarks. And on behalf of all of our Henry M. Goldman School of Dental Medicine faculty, staff, students, and residents, a very sincere and well-deserved thank you for all you have accomplished this past year. And congratulations on your very successful year as president of the Massachusetts Dental Society. It is now my pleasure to recognize the recipients of the Henry M. Goldman School of Dental Medicine Spencer and Frankel Scholarship Award, the International College of Dentists Student Leadership Award, and the Omicron Kappa Upsilon Dr. William S. Kramer Award of Excellence. The Henry M. Goldman School of Dental Medicine Spencer and Frankel Scholarship is awarded annually to a dental student or students in their second year of the Doctor of Dental Medicine program that possess the qualities that we look for in a young dentist and best exemplify the spirit of our second dean and my predecessor, Dr. Spencer N. Frankel. This year's award non-honorees are no exception. Based on their solid academic record to date, their service to the school and the community, as well as their commitment to ethics, professionalism, and our profession, it is my pleasure to recognize the following four recipients of this year's $2,000 scholarships. Tazine Donji, Charlton Goodman, Jasmine Pasco, and Maria Regina Rojas. At this time, it is also a pleasure for me to announce the recipient of the International College of Dentists Student Leadership Award, Dr. Natasha Martins. The International College of Dentists Student Leadership Award recognizes a DMD advanced standing student for demonstrating outstanding leadership, academic accomplishment, and character that focuses on service to the community and our profession. At this time, it is also a pleasure for me to announce that the recipient of the Omicron Kappa Upsilon William S. Kramer Award of Excellence is Mana V. Naj I.
The Microcaphos Upsilon William S. Kramer Award of Excellence is named in honor of Dr. William S. Kramer, former president of the Micron Kappa Upsilon Dental Honor Society. Dr. Kramer also served on the American Board of Pediatric Dentistry and the Board of Directors of the American Academy of Pediatric Dentistry. This award is presented to a rising third-year dental student who has demonstrated scholarship, character, and the potential promise for advancement of dentistry and service to humanity as shown by Dr. Kramer's dedication to his profession, his specialty, and the principles and ideals of OKU. As we bring closure to the 2020 Henry M. Goldman School of Dental Medicine White Coat Ceremony, I want to thank Drs. Joseph Calabrese and Cataldo Leone for participating in our ceremony. And a special thank you to Amanda Warren, Director of Meetings and Events, for all of her hard work and effort in overseeing the planning, organizing, and execution of today's virtual ceremony. And to Shannon Broderick, multimedia content creator for her exceptional work in compiling, creating, and editing the footage for our virtual ceremony. I would also like to recognize the class officers of the Doctor of Dental Medicine Class of 2022 and Doctor of Dental Medicine Advanced Standing Class of 2021 for all of their proactive support in making their white coat ceremony a reality and I hope a very momentous occasion for them, their respective classmates, families, and friends who have joined us today. Doctor of Dental Medicine 2022 class officers, Karen Sheely Witt, Tatiana Fortune, Chloe Habib, and Anoush Longerstay. Doctor of Dental Medicine Advanced Standing 2021 class officers, Arjun Chaudhry, Joseph Habib, Natasha Martins, and I yaver pen or more or qua su yi. And a special thank you and note of gratitude to Dr. Daniel J. Clementson for accepting our invitation to be the keynote speaker for today's white coat ceremony. And Dr. Janice Moriarty for taking time out of her very busy schedule to participate in our 2020 white coat ceremony. This ceremony has been an important rite of passage, which marks the beginning of a new and important journey for our students who are here with us today. I know I speak for all of our faculty, staff, students, residents, and alumni in saying that we are extremely proud of what you have already accomplished and honored to have the opportunity to mentor, educate, train, and provide support to you as you continue your journey into our profession. To the family members who are with us remotely, thank you and congratulations on raising such fine daughters, sons, grandchildren, nieces and nephews, and having such a positive impact on their lives. Your loved one is a member of the Boston University Henry M. Goldman School of Dental Medicine community and will continue to gain the benefit of an outstanding dental education. A collegial, respectful and supportive environment as we all share the same core values of respect truth, responsibility, fairness, and compassion, and a vast network of Boston University Henry M. Goldman School of Dental Medicine alumni. At Boston University Henry M. Goldman School of Dental Medicine, we are committed in spirit and in action to providing an outstanding education to dental professionals throughout their careers. Our faculty, many of whom are with us today, is second to none. Among the faculty are national and university award winners, past and present leaders of local, state, and national professional associations, members of committees and councils of the American Dental Association, the American Dental Education Association, the American and International Associations of Dental Research, and respective specialty organizations, patent holders, leaders in research, leaders in educational research and evaluation, and leaders in public health. Throughout its history, our School of Dental Medicine has been at the forefront of didactic and clinical innovation, and in this time of rapidly developing technologies and increasingly diverse patient populations, be assured that the Boston University Henry M. Goldman School of Dental Medicine has positioned itself to meet these exciting and demanding challenges of the future. Shaping the future of oral health care, dental medicine, and dental education through research is another commitment and central focus at Boston University Henry M. Goldman School of Dental Medicine. 
Despite National Institutes of Health funding trending down nationwide, the Henry M. Goldman School of Dental Medicine continues to receive grant awards in all areas of research, and we are extremely proud of the contributions our researchers make to the profession. In addition, our researchers collaborate with many other schools and colleges in the university in areas such as head and neck cancer, cardiovascular disease, diabetes, Sjogren's syndrome, pancreatitis, along with the ever-growing concern of access to health care, smoking, obesity, and oral disease. Members of the Doctor of Dental Medicine Class of 2022 and the Doctor of Dental Medicine Advanced Standing Class of 2021, we value your experience and we were certainly very fortunate to have you as students. You are the best and the brightest, and I know that I speak for the entire faculty and staff when I say that we feel privileged and deeply gratified that you made the decision, and it was the correct one, to attend our Henry M. Goldman School of Dental Medicine. For me, and I am sure you, it is hard to believe how much progress has been made over the last year on our addition and renovation construction project. Working with an outstanding team of professionals, Smith Group Architectural, Sormic Design and Construction, Compass Project Management, and with the unyielding support of the university, we are now well underway in the addition and renovation of our School of Dental Medicine facility. It was just over two years ago, on April the 5th, 2018, that we celebrated the groundbreaking, and today the building looks entirely new, as it is clad in an entirely new facade with contemporary sheathing, and on the building's north and west side are completed. While there was certainly more work to be done on the project, I want to take a moment to recognize all of the milestones we have completed since that groundbreaking. In January 2019, we celebrated the completion of the project's first phase with the opening of the new patient treatment center's reception and waiting area, the new patient and visitor entrance, and new state-of-the-art office suites for admissions, student affairs, and finance, as well as a brand new supply store, repair shop, and state-of-the-art central sterilization room. During the project's second phase in March of 2019, we gathered again to celebrate the topping off ceremony when the final steel beam was placed atop the construction carrying with hundreds of signatures and thoughts from our students, residents, faculty, staff, and alumni. The second phase was completed in early 2020, and I so enjoyed welcoming the Goldman School of Dental Medicine community through the new faculty, staff, student, and resident entrance on East Newton Street in late February. The completion of the second phase brought online a new 140-seat auditorium, 60 new technologically advanced patient treatment rooms, and a cutting-edge edge simulation learning center, as well as new administrative and collaborative spaces, a new cafe, two brand new elevators, and for the first time in the proud history of our school, a student and resident lounge, along with collaborative space for everyone to enjoy. While unfortunately our school community has not been able to make use of these spaces over the last few months due to the coronavirus pandemic, we are beginning to gradually and safely ramp up our in-person activities and the day we will see our first patients in our new patient treatment center is just around the corner. We have now moved on to the third phase, soon to be followed by the fourth and final phase of construction which will add 40 additional patient treatment rooms along with a completely renovated bathrooms and elevators in the core of our existing building. I share this with you because if it was not for your patience, support and ability to foresee the transformative effect the construction will have on the future of our school and the value of the diplomas and certificates you, you will receive, we never would be at this point in the history of the Henry M. Goldman School of Dental Medicine. From the bottom of my heart, thank you very much, and I look forward to seeing all of you when we dedicate our new building at 635 Albany Street. As students, parents, families, and friends of the Boston University Henry M. Goldman School of Dental Medicine, we want and need for you to participate in these initiatives, and we will call upon you to do so. These are exciting times at the Henry M. Goldman School of Dental Medicine, and we want you, the students, parents, families, and friends, to be an integral part of them. To each of our newly white-coated colleagues, congratulations, and it is truly an honor and a privilege to have you as students at the Boston University Henry M. Goldman School of Dental Medicine, and for me to serve as your dean. 
To each family member and guest in attendance, Mrs. Hutter and I express our heartfelt congratulations and thank you for your continued support of our school and our future dentists. Mrs. Hutter and I also look forward to seeing you at the 2021 and 2022 Boston University Henry M. Goldman School of Dental Medicine Commencement Convocations to be held in May of 2021 and May of 2022 as the Doctor of Dental Medicine Advanced Standing Class of 2021 and Doctor of Dental Medicine Class of 2022 receive their respective Doctor of Dental Medicine degrees. Thank you very much, have a great day, and please be safe and stay healthy.